Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the very first athlete into our Hall of Fame from Frank Muth High School, Miss Ann Lemire. All right. First of all, I'd like to stake, uh, thank the Saginaw County Sports Hall of Flame um, and the members for this great honor and obviously this uh, wonderful banquet here tonight. Um, certainly amongst some great company with the other inductees uh, here tonight and also those who have come before me. Uh, looking back at my sports career, there are so many people I have to thank. I, I certainly didn't get here alone. Uh, I probably have to start with my family who's always been there to love and support me. Uh, to my dad, um, who's coached me and encouraged me uh, from as young as I can remember. Uh, from the nearly three hour trips we used to take uh, to Detroit for practices and games, he'd drive me. Um, to the pickup games, he'd organize with the neighborhood kids in the driveway. Um, to even uh, times he'd probably push me a little too hard doing drills <laughs> in the driveway. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Um, to my mom, she's always been there to comfort and console me, uh, to build confidence, and to help me find the strength to go on when I was tired and uh, wanted to quit. So, thank you, Mom. Um, and to my sister. Uh, <laughs> she had to put up with hanging out in the gym for long, probably boring for her, uh, basketball tournaments. Um, she gave up many family vacations to go to AU Nationals. Um, so thank you, Dina. Um, and finally, to my aunts and my uncles uh, who are here tonight. They traveled to many, many FHS games and uh, Michigan games, so thank you. Next, I'd like to thank my coaches, uh, Coach Pelzer and his wife, Penny, who traveled here from Florida. Uh, Coach Pelzer was inducted last year into the Hall of Fame. So congratulations, Coach, too. Um, I always had a lot of ins uh, respect and admiration for Coach Bowser. I loved going to practices. I can't say that about many other practices, but I, I loved going to high school practices. He had ways of making uh, conditioning really fun. He'd, he'd do this drill, for example, called a change drill. It was basically a, a fast break one way, and just about when you're ready to score, he'd blow the whistle and you'd have to change directions and run back the other way. And we just keep doing this back and forth, back and forth. But it was fun. And I didn't even realize it was probably like doing, you know, 10 suicides um, all the while. So um, he had, a, he had a, a fun way of making things um, not seem like work. <laughs> um, and I also want to thank him for believing me to lead his team as a point guard, as a freshman, um, and, and uh, help lead our team for a state championship. So thank you, Coach. Uh, Coach Petty's chief, as we call them. Uh, it probably wasn't easy for him to take over a head coach my senior year. I, uh, I had a lot of energy and he had his hands full, probably trying to keep the shenanigans to a minimum at practice. Uh, but he always got us to work hard and, and playing as a team. Um, he really loved the game and, and cared a lot for uh, his players, uh, as, did, as did Coach uh, Grassi, Coach G, we used to call him. Uh, these three coaches uh, had a vision and a plan, and they all bought into Coach Pelzer's system and, and really brought things together to make it happen. So thank, thank you to your coach, my coaches. Um, what I probably the, the one thing I always remember is how much fun and camaraderie we had as a team. Uh, I, I have my teammates to thank for so much of my success. I certainly didn't get to the 97-7 and seven career record on my own. Uh, nor do I think I would have been able to perform at the level I did without their support. Um, in fact, most of my closest relationships today are with the girls from the team. Um, so it's really evident by uh, their love and support, and all those are here tonight, so I really thank you uh, for that. Um, we actually had our 20th year state reunion last night for our state championship. Um, with the organization of some of the seniors on the team, Michelle and Missy. And looking back at that, that was, that was really their team, that's, that senior class. Um, but there was really no one person that played more important role than anyone else on that team. 
And uh, as I said in an interview with the Saginaw News, um, I've probably never been on a team since that that had, um, you know, no jealousies, no hidden politics or agendas. We just really came together and, and played as a team. And so we had quite the party last night and shared some stories. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I could go on and on about the stories we shared on and off the court, um, but I wouldn't know where to start. There, there's so many. Um, and, and two, I don't know if they'd all be appropriate. <laughs> um, but most important, I promise to keep my, sh my speech short, so I'll, I'll wrap things up. Um, I, I'd like to thank uh, my supporters here tonight as well. Many of them have been in my life for a, for a long time and very dear to me, so I thank you for your continued support um, even after my athletic careers ended, so thank you.